Hey, what's up guys? This is Victor here and today let's talk about Ciders and NFT Heroes. The idea is going to be taking place on the 15th of December 2021 and there are going to be seven different platforms. We'll cover that briefly in this video as well as the tokens that you'll be getting for your investment. As always, I'm not a financial advisor, so please do your own research before you make any investment decisions. And if you're new to this platform, you're welcome. Here we talk about new projects before they go mainstream. If that is something that is of interest to you, a sub will be appreciated because that's the only way I get compensated right now to bring these projects to your attention. Also, we are building a fantastic community around there in Telegram. There's a link in the video description. Feel free to follow so you join like-minded individuals who want to make money through crypto. We also talk about things that don't get featured on the channel itself. So great community that we are building over there. Feel free to join us if you want. Now let's talk about the Ciders NFT Heroes and we have a playable demo on the website right now. This game gives me Star Atlas vibes. So when we take a look at Star Atlas, which is a project that I've covered in the time past, and I believe that Star Atlas is going to be one of the biggest games in cryptocurrency in the year 2022 when they finally launch. Right now, their tokens are at a bargain in my opinion. Like I said, it's not financial advice. But what makes Star Atlas stick out for me is the sheer quality of their production value. I mean, this is a massively well-developed game. It looks so good. And unlike many of the games that we see on the crypto space right now, which in my opinion are just opportunistic games that are just trying to take advantage of the hype regarding the metaverse and also the fact that we expect that the metaverse or the gaming sector would hold strong during the upcoming um, bear market. So many players are just building up to take advantage or just to cash grab um, through multiple ideas that are taking place right now. Star Atlas doesn't seem to be one of them. And the other project that I'll put in the same category as Star Atlas is Ciders. You look at the quality of production as well. You see that over a hundred engineers and developers are building this particular project. It is the result of a collaboration between different teams of experts and different spaces coming together to build on this common vision of a metaverse that is going to dwarf every other thing in the market. And you can tell from the quality of production that we've seen, even in the game demo right now, it is superb and the way this is going to work is going to be a web-based game no special equipment needed so you can play on your mobile devices or on your computer it's going to be webgl um, based and it is a massive multiplayer online role-playing game i don't want to go into gameplay details as to how it's going to work but essentially there are going to be opportunities for you to form alliances you can also play as a solo player for instance you can um, build your own uh, team that means collaborate with other team members to have um, one versus one battles with other teams and then there are rewards that will be accrued to you once you do that you can explore worlds colonize planets every single thing is an nft because this is an nft powered game so things from the players to the comets to planets ships um, battle equipment are all NFTs that can be sold, they can be auctioned or can be taken to secondary markets like open seas to be traded on. And that for me is a fantastic idea because it's not a closed ecosystem. It is something that is going to attract as many people as possible. In fact, I believe that these triple player titles are very important to cryptocurrency based gaming because there are many players out there who play some of these fantastic games on specialized consoles like Xbox or even on PC that are not interested in many of the the simple and oversimplified games that we have on um, blockchain based games i don't have nothing against games like axie infinity but it's not certain people's cup of tea some people want to play something that is more immersive and that is where products like Cydos as well as star atlas come into play so one of the other things that i've seen in this particular game as well as in their white paper is the multi-blockchain system i don't know how that is going to work it's considering the fact that we are going to have different people on different blockchains and you can choose which blockchain you want to get involved in and you can have team members from that same blockchain or is it going to be cross-platform now i don't have full details on how that is going to work i think that once we have the better version of the game in q1 of 2022 then we have a better idea of how that is going to work but that is gets me super excited because i don't need to be stuck on ethereum and paying high gas fees for instance if i don't want to get involved in that particular blockchain and i still want to get involved in the game having the opportunity or the option to choose which blockchain i want to utilize is a massive goal for me i'm talking about the timelines or their roadmap they have their roadmap running all the way to q1 of 2024 
you'll be hard pressed to find any other project that is so well detailed and so well planned out from here and this for me shows some dedication shows me that this team is ready to actually deliver and you can see that on q4 2021 which is where we are creation of the game demo has already been implemented on the website we have um, the game tokens and the DAO tokens released that is going to be happening on 15th of december and you see that they are actually been fulfilling on their roadmap as we move along down the line and you see the opportunities going forward into q4 of 2021 you can a whole host of development opportunity coming up in this game and that for me is going to continue to add interest into the game so we see a platform like um, axe infinity continue to develop develop on the platform despite the fact that they've enjoyed massive success which is one thing that's going to keep users or gamers coming back to the system because they know that every quarter of the year there is something new that is happening in the game and that for me is what makes this game also stand out as far as I'm concerned. So let's quickly talk tokenomics. So the token sale, as we have talked about before, is going to happen on 15th of December 2021. And there are two versions of the game tokens. One is called the Senate DAO tokens, which are going to be used for governance. And we have the second one, which is called the Cydos game token, which is used for utility. And the distribution are out here on their white paper. I'm going to be linking that in the video description. You can see that the ecosystem has the largest chunk for the Cydos token, which is 50%. So at this point in time in my opinion if you want to earn free money in 2022 learn how to play <laughs> many of these games because play to earn is becoming something massive and many platforms like for instance big time does not even have a token sale you will only be able to earn their tokens by playing the game gamers are in for big money in 2022 if i were you i would learn how to play some of these games in my spare time make some free money i don't know so we talked about land ownership earlier and we have it here on the white paper the way they're going to be apportioning the land and the uses to which those lands will be licensed for and so that is something that's upcoming and i will give you guys more information as soon as i have them but i think it's something to look forward to especially considering the potential of this particular system if you can get your hands on the land you are in for some massive profits in my personal opinion and that brings me to the token sale itself which is going to be on 15th of december and the seven different platforms by which you can participate in this particular project so for blockpad blockpad is an incubator and launchpad that is developed and owned by the blocktopia crypto metaverse that is another project that we need to talk about on this channel watch out for that cydos heroes is going to be the very first ideal to be held on that platform and this company is going to be giving out $250,000 worth of block tokens as a reward for those that participate in this very first IDO. So Blockpad is probably going to be one of the more juicy um, um, platforms to take part in this particular IDO. Link in the video description. To participate in the Cydos IDO on Blockpad, you would need to stake the block tokens which can be bought on Qcoin, Git.io, Quickswap or some any, or any other exchanges that you can find on CoinMarketCap. Now, Blockpad uses a system of nine tiers, including a lottery and guaranteed allocation of tokens. You have to read the terms and conditions, please, to familiarize yourself with the different tiers and what is going to take you to participate in that. The second one is Ignition Launchpad, and Ignition Launchpad is owned by the paid ecosystem or the paid network ecosystem. To participate in Cydos IDO on Ignition, you need to have the paid tokens, and the platform also has several tiers depending on the number of tokens that you hold. They also have what they call a lottery system and you can participate on the link is going to be in the video description as well as as mentioned there is going to be links to every single one of these platforms in the video description so you can go for further reading trustpad is a third platform and that utilizes the tpad tokens to distribute allocation trustpad uses a system of levels to determine the number of token a user receives starting from 15k trustpad its lottery levels start at 3k though nothing is guaranteed here Trustpad also requires registration on the platform and that closes six hours before the sale starts. Space Swap Starter is a launchpad created by the multi-chain DeFi aggregator called Swift Space Swap. And to participate in the event, users need to have some Milk2 tokens. These can be purchased on several exchanges. And right now you need a minimum of 5,000 Milk2 tokens, Milk2 tokens to participate in their IDOs. 
this might change prior to this particular idea so you might want to take a look at their website the next one is red kite and red kite is the launchpad and DeFi platform that is powered by poker foundry to be eligible for distribution of tokens you need to own the pkf tokens and the poker foundry token they also have a tier system with four different levels GameFi is a dedicated platform for game pods or game launches and they need you to hold the Gaffi tokens to participate in their own ideals. The last platform is CDFi and that is an incubator and launch pad specifically designed for blockchain based gaming and gamers and they require you to hold the S fund tokens which is available on PancakeSwap or KuCoin. CDFi relies on a 9 tier system with only one lottery based pool, the rest have guaranteed allocations. So feel free like i mentioned earlier to check out these channels or check out these particular platforms and choose which one you find more comfortable to your use so as mentioned earlier you'll be getting 50 percent of each token in your allocation if you get whitelisted for any of this for any of these platforms and that's going to be for the senate token as well as the ciders token they all belong to the same platform one is going to be used for governance while the other one is for utility and um, the date like i mentioned earlier is 15th of december 2021 and that is the information i have at this point in time as soon as i have more information especially regarding the land sale i will be first to bring it to your attention and if you have any questions feel free to ask me if i got anything wrong or got something uh, misplaced feel free to call my attention to it so that we can all be on the same page as always um thank you for sticking out with me on this one until i catch you guys in the next one stay blessed